In this play about deception, the players trick and are tricked. More on the deceivers and the deceived right after this. Let's start with Beatrice and Benedict, who spend most of the play being deceived. Beatrice is Leonardo's niece and hero's cousin. You'll remember her for her sassy comebacks and the fact that she doesn't care about guys. In the end, though, her friend's trickery gets her to fall in love with Benedict. Speaking of Benedict, the guy is a perfect match for Beatrice. He's always making jokes and dissing marriage. But his friends trick him into falling in love, too. Hero and Claudio are the other main couple, and they both deceive and suffer the consequences of deception. Hero is Claudio's future wife, and her deception is innocent enough. She's the one who tricks Beatrice. But when she's the victim of deception, it nearly costs her her marriage and her life. Like Hero, Claudio participates in a deception to get his friend to fall in love. But deception ultimately hurts Claudio, too. Deceived by vengeful John the Bastard, Claudio publicly shames Hero and nearly loses her. Thankfully, he's tricked into marrying her in the end. Speaking of John the Bastard, his deception of Claudio is the most vicious one in the whole play. As a result, he and his cohorts are the only ones not to have a happy ending.